Hello there and welcome back to Cory Loses, where today we are continuing on in the campaign of 9-Bit Armies, which has just come out, so it is available for everyone to play now. You can check for a link in the description to the Steam page. But we have done Steel Shore and Fleeing Rats. We are now on Prototype Panic. So we're going to jump into the briefing and see what's going on. All right. Command has received a stress call that Sentinels are attacking our experimental paradrop base. While you do not have clearance to enter an exiled zone, you are the closest commander, and we can't let our tech fall into enemy hands. So we need to destroy all enemy production, don't lose or sell any paradrop cannons, and complete the bronze and silver within 15 minutes for the gold objective. Okay, so I I am I haven't been getting the the gold or silver objectives. I'm not mad. But uh we'll jump back in. And it looks like we have some more vehicles because we've only been using infantry for our our, our land units so far. Uh, not as much water on this map, although there is a, a river we can maybe take advantage of. I do like rivers, so that works out fine for me. I'm sure you've heard of exiled zones. What they actually are is above your pay grade. Well, that's kind of rude. All you need to know is that they have been walled off and sometimes what's inside escapes. That always works. The Sentinels are threatening one of our research bases near one such zone. You are the closest tool I wow, so I need you to go and put them down. That's, okay, well, maybe I want to join the enemy side now. Not a, not a big fan of, uh, of that. That's kind of just mean. We also have reports that the Sentinels may have breached the walls. Remember that the area inside is entirely harmless and most likely won't affect the mission at all. Okay, I don't, I don't believe you, so. All right, what do we got? Got an armored car. Uh, is this an allied base? Okay, uh, power plant. Let's get a refinery, which I guess I'll just put up here. We'll have that one, and that should be close enough that we can start building out towards them. Uh, do we want to start moving maybe over here? We'll see if there's any little boxes for us to pick up. If I were a box, I'd just sit on a road. Oh, don't. Okay. I thought that was going to take out the house. Uh, unit wise. Well, we got the, the truck starting to go out. I am going to get a barracks over here. Actually, I'm not 100% sure if the boxes show up on the minimap once you see them, because I haven't checked that before. But hopefully cats will carry us in Cooper and Lawrence. They're, they're really just like us. I'm no longer afraid of Cooper and Lawrence. Uh, shipyard, no power plant. We got a lot of power, barracks, motor pool, may as well get a motor pool. And then we can start getting some more harvesters too. Oh, uh, don't knock the trees down. See, that's what I thought was going to happen to the house. This kind of environmental destruction is... I just can't condone that. All right, we're going to have to go back around to that. I do want to keep an eye on that bridge, uh, if I can. So... Get some of these harvesters going, and uh, I'll put another barracks over here. We have defense build queue. I'm not sure how far away I can build the turrets. I think it's still just the same rules for for base building. Yeah, can I can I do it in the allied territory? That was something that I was able to do. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just gonna place one there. All right. Don't worry about insufficient funds. I'll show you insufficient funds. We'll have such insufficient funds, you don't even know what to do with how few funds you have. All right, I had a better idea for how to do that one. I'm going to do it again, because uh, that, that really didn't go well. So let's begin. And this time, I'm going to focus on building within our allies' base. Because uh, the the para dropping or the attacks on the para drops came a lot faster than I thought they would, so we are we're gonna take a mulligan on that one. 
I have heard of uh, of exiled zones, but not for the reasons you'd expect. All you need to know is they've been walled off. All right. Uh, so let's get down there. And so I do want to keep refineries up here. But this is I'm going to try to just build refineries up here. And I think I'm going to try to. Uh, get a motor pool next. I think we need a motor pool next. Or can I not get the motor pool until I have? Yeah, I need the need the barracks first. Actually, no, this is. Can I stop you? Because I, I did actually want you over here. So already, already a misplay, but I just completely forgot my own plan. Okay, I'm going to put another turret on here, and then I want the motor pool. I technically want the motor pool in this space. Because we're going to be building the harvesters up here. And that'll be more important, the infantry being up there. But we'll we'll start getting them ready. All right. If we want to be prepared, we're gonna have to just uh stay on that. Okay. There we go. I do kinda I wonder if I can. I kind of want to have different units come out of different motor pools and barracks, but they all seem to produce from the same one. So it might be something that I'm unaware of that I can do. But think it's possible. Okay, I'm going to try to position... Ooh. I'm going to try to position this in a place that they're not going to take the, the early damage. Okay, motor pool. We're starting to build our... guys there. I guess I could put another refinery right here now, because they seem to be going primarily for that one. We want them to be as split as possible. But even in the in the worst case Ontario, we can get the vehicles down there faster. Well, really worst case would be if they all just came up here, but And I think it seems like having like six harvesters per resource and refinery is kind of where you start getting the slowdown, or at least where I've roughly placed it at. I'm I don't know the the top tier metas yet. Uh so yeah, I'm not thinking the the boats are gonna be a big focus for us right now. And I guess just having the, the one barracks down there is all we need. We don't need to get the other ones ready. Or we don't need to keep the other ones in that area. Okay. As long as we can protect that ally, then I think we can probably keep things rolling. Energy production's fine. We're not getting any assaults yet. You guys are... Here, can you please go to the right one? All right, you're going to go over here. You're going to go over here. We don't need you all waiting on that. Okay, they should go to a more reasonable place now, too. Uh... Yeah, shipyard or shipyard. So, oh, barracks over here. We're going to slowly build our way towards the other guys. There we go. Well, I would kind of prefer that we be in range of the turrets to support, but can't always get what we want, I guess. All right. We're making good progress on that. Like, we're, we're killing them as they come off the bridge, so that is going to be... 
a slower response for him. I'm going to put a motor pool. No, I'm not going to put a motor pool over there. I, I was about to lie to you. There we go. All right, come on over. I think that's... Uh, there's mostly infantry. Nothing's dying yet. Okay. Uh, let's get you guys down there. And yeah, I think we're getting to the point where we want to... Have another... Refinery ready almost. Like if we get up to, to this area, we'll have enough. We're we're getting pretty fast on that production. Yeah, I just need to make sure you guys aren't gonna be doubled up. But we're nearly through on those. Okay. Um there. Yeah. Even if it's kind of slower, I think I'm gonna have a bunch of them coming. Nope, don't let that happen. Because we're going to want to get into a... Uh, into an assault fairly soon. There's another motor pool. I want another barracks after this. They have some sort of artillery on that side. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's coming from the water or the bridge. It seems to be from the bridge. Nope, we want you over here. We want you over there. And let's get some of our first tanks. I haven't used any tanks yet. That's uh, that's going to be exciting. Okay, nope, you got it, guys. Guys, you, you gotta. With a longer run, I think that'll be less crowded. And it looks like they are holding on. So I'm going to try to just get stuff ready for uh, our own assault. All right, that's empty. So I'm going to want to put a refinery on this side too. Harvester under attack. No, you can't attack my stuff. Well, you're in the wrong place is the other problem with that. All right, tanks. Not what we wanted. Okay, that's all together. Because I want to try to get up that bridge, I guess. And, oh, hello. Oh god, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, you got that. Can I drive over you, please? Alright, that, that did most of what I wanted. Oh. No, don't, don't let that happen. But, okay, they're actually, they're starting to get into an assault, so that's good. Uh, I'm going to go with them for this side. All right, they're going to be going far and wide. So I'm going to put another refinery there. That's not going to do all that much, but... Oh, what are you? Okay, we're going to have a lawsuit on our hands. I don't know if the legal department can handle that. Well, that's actually, that's not, that's not too bad. Okay, so we're just going to let that build up. 
You guys have got to come up. And this is going to be a vehicle assault north and just keep throwing infantry at him south. So just get over that and just get over that. Because we actually do seem to be getting at least some progress into the into the enemy base. Oh, that's not good. Well, they built onto this side. Okay, they're all dead. So everything I've heard about fighting a two-front war being a great idea is apparently wrong? Uh-oh. The bridge is gone. That poor tank. All right, we're just going to try to get a reasonable force massed up here. Buddy, boys, guys, friends. This is not the way. Well, that actually will limit their ability to get across the south. And, okay. Uh, so let's get another motor pool. We'll get a barracks after that. We'll just keep going up that way. So, they're safe. And that also means that this barracks is not really where we want it to be. Not sure if I could have just changed that. But, oh well. We got a lot of motor pools. We don't need more motor pools right now. It should mean our resources on this end of the map are also safe. Uh, can I like double up the refinery? Just for the extra, extra through fare. Here we go. Now they should all start coming up the right place. All right, we're not going to have those infantry up here. Oh, we need power. I just, I had so much power before I was thinking I was, I would never run out. Okay. You guys are too fast. Well, I got at least some of those out. Because the, the hope would be that we can get over the bridge and establish some sort of beachhead before, uh, before they take out the bridge. Make another check with that? Oh, there, there's no reason for that. I thought maybe I just needed another one for, for the other stuff, but no. All right. Because we just, we don't want the bridge to be demolished. They're starting to get in on that side. That's uh, some of their reduction. And we got a really big force over here. So let's try to get established on that side. There's two of those structures there. We just don't want... Uh, oh, there's a just a helicopter sitting there. And should we get another barracks? Let's get another barracks. And I just want to keep these guys building, eh? Okay. We should be able to take out some of this production. This front, I don't think, is actually getting anywhere. Okay, if I just tell you to run at them... I, th I think we'll be... There we go. There we go. Oh, there... They did manage to drop some more stuff in there. Oh, well. 
we're making more progress than I thought we would have. There's the shipyard. We're going to go further inland, especially with the support here now. Ally under attack, good for them. As long as they don't get, like, fully wiped. Which, I don't know what the risk of that is. But we got that. I was really hoping our ally would be more inclined to be helpful on that. I need to really keep up the production. Can I just, uh... Okay. Don't go too far. There we go. There's the artillery. Stop the artillery. That's what's... Eh. You guys can attack while moving, right? Okay. No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, I think we need more stuff. Damn, they're really getting us. All right. Uh, I don't have the engineers. Can I repair any of you? No, just the structures. Okay, I think we're good for that next phase. They're just... Our allies are gone. Okay, I need to... Need to make sure that I am always building. Otherwise, this is not going to go well. Okay, I think we do have enough to, to get that in. Just need to make sure that these turrets aren't living forever. Uh, that's a big grouping. Okay. Okay, don't let the siege artillery just do whatever they want. Okay, get that motor pool before it does any more damage. And these guys are just coming straight in. If you are being built, you're coming in. And if you're not being built, then I'm making a mistake. Because we have so much money. That I I don't have the AP. <laughs> okay, just stay at a stay at a range of that. There you go. Because we are gonna have them coming into our base fairly soon, so I don't want to be completely out of it. But we are we are gonna be continuously building, so we'll still have stuff to kill whatever's coming in that way. There we go. All right, just uh, get that turret now. And I mean, I'm still not seeing anyone coming into the, the wrong area. So maybe I'll get these guys ready to go in that front part that we've been ignoring that the allies nearly took. Our cats did about as well as the movie. Okay, here we go. I th think I should be able to build fast enough to, to kill that without losing the base. Okay, get in the back. Okay, get over there. This seems to be where all their all their units are. 
we have so much that I, I could really just keep building. Oh my, what the? Ah! Aberration is right. Okay. Um. Team? I was. I didn't. Eh? Okay, we need to clear those. But. Okay. Well, I mean, this is the easiest way to get through here, so. If we have to open the world up to some aberrations. Look, I can protect the exile zone or I can kill all the all the sentinels. You can't have both. There's there's priorities to be maintained, sir. You can't win a war without unleashing a few aliens. Like, pick one goal. Beat the aliens or beat the... Beat the sentinels. Okay, we need to get everyone over to here. Uh, there's some conflict going on over there. Uh, so let's get these guys. You can go take that. Gotta take the shipyard. Okay, this is all very, very crowded. We need, we need to kill those artillery. So I think it's still the same strategy of drive at the stuff that we've, that we've got shooting us, and hope we can destroy. Oh my god, they still have so much. Okay, let's uh let's back up because we're gonna have way more coming in. And we can more effectively focus that. There we go. So are they the sentinels? Because they're the ones that are staying between us and the the, the aliens? Well, at least we've destroyed most of that. I don't know if uh, if I'm going to have to answer any questions about blowing up that wall, or there's going to be some sort of court martial, or court order, or I don't know, courting ritual. There we go. There's the HQs down. And, I mean, we're still... We can build stuff. Definitely not 15 minutes. Definitely not uh, avoiding the loss of our uh, of our paradrop centers. But, you know, they... They can, again, pick one thing. Oh, the harvesters are starting to go into there, which is alien country now. Yeah, I, just, I don't want the the faster vehicles getting too far ahead, because that I just waste our resources getting them killed. Need to work with command groups more. Okay, you guys go for that, and you guys go for that. All my homeworld controls have gotten mixed up mentally with uh, my 9-bit army's controls. Alright, 
There it is. I call that a complete flawless victory. You performed as well as can be expected. That's all, that's all I want. I may have need for you to enter an Oxalid zone in the future. You will need clearance. I suppose a promotion is in order. Well, I knocked down the wall, so I think everywhere is about to be an exile zone. Okay. Well, we are victorious there. So where are they going to send us next? If by, by in the future, do they mean like right now? So that is going to do it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, you can check the description for a link to 9-Bit Armies on Steam. I'll also be doing some other streams coming up in the future. So thanks again for watching and hope to see you next time. Bye, everyone.